accurately scaling Son Goku Master Ultra Instinct. In just Super Saiyan God colliding fists with Beerus, could have destroyed the entire universe. And since they've got multiple timelines, plus the Kai Realm, Heaven, and the home for infinite losers, that brings them all the way to multiverse level. Then you learn how to go Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Kaioken times 20, 30, whatever he felt like, and broke through its dimension of slowing down time, which immediately puts him at low complex multiverse, but we're not done yet. Not even by a long shot. Which is exactly the chances he had against Jiren. And as we all know, he's as bald as Saitama, which immediately puts Jiren at zero bound. And when Goku went Master Alter Instinct, guess what he went beyond? Zero boundless. Zero boundless. And we ain't even done yet. We ain't even done. He became best friends with the god of his outer verse or multiverse. I don't know. There's a bunch of timelines. It's a little confusing. And they all had a great time and everyone lived happily ever after. Or did? Here's Goku turning into the attack titan to destroy Moro, which means that he surpasses Zeno in his zero boundlessness. He is so infinite zero boundless that it doesn't even make sense. Just forget that. That's a plot hole. So yeah, this would be the outcome. Zero boundless, infinite upon infinite upon infinite, zero boundless over here. Comp Goku. Oh, we don't even need Comp Goku. Regular Goku wins.